Well, tell us about War Room specifically. What's the storyline? War Room is um, about the power of prayer and that prayer really is a weapon we can use to fight a lot of our battles. Just like the military will meet in their war room, look at what the enemy's doing, call up the resources and strategy, disseminate that to the leaders, and then hit the battlefield. Mm -hmm. As Christians, we really need to be doing the same thing. Matthew 6, verse 6 says, When you pray, go into that inner room, that prayer closet, if you will, mm -hmm. and pray to the Lord, and, the, and God who sees what's, what's happening in secret will reward you. God loves to be sought. Jeremiah 29, 13 says, If you seek me, you'll find me if you seek me with all your heart. So God says, chase me, seek me. Mm -hmm. and, and James says, you draw near to me, I'll draw you near to you in the book of James. So, so w w what we present in the movie is go to your war room first and build strategies for your marriage, how you're praying for your marriage and your children and your church and, and our nation and, and bathe those things in prayer and do the work of prayer. And sometimes it'll feel like work, but yeah. to discipline yourself to do that. And um, in, in 2 Chronicles 7, 14 in the Old Testament, he says to Israel what we need in America that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I'll hear from heaven and then I'll forgive their sin and heal their land. Well, that's what we need in America. That's right. And in other countries. So what we present in the movie is, man, we got to get on our face seriously. Do we go to war and prayer first before fighting our battles anywhere else. Yeah. And so you have mar mar marital issues or you have... Uh, issues uh, you know, with addictions or at your work or with your children or whatever, fight those battles first in prayer. And don't just try to convince people to change or whatever. As you know, we, we can't change each other. Right. My wife can't change me and I can't change her, but I can love her and pray for her and she can pray for me and let God do the heavy lifting. Yeah. So in the movie, we, we present this war room and you, you have a middle class couple with common issues. They're struggling with certain things, money and work and in uh, you know the, the relational aspects of their marriage, their daughter, and uh, we see an elderly widow prayer warrior begin to connect with the young wife and teach her how to fight the right way. Mm -hmm. Your husband's not your enemy, but there is an enemy, and you need to be fighting him with the right weapons the right way. And she begins to invest and pour in her and teach her how to fight in prayer. And when she begins applying those biblical principles, God begins doing things that only He can do. So by the end of the film, you're you've laughed, you've cried, you, you've. Um, You've been inspired, and, and we pray at the end of War Room, people want to get up out of the theater or after they watch it on, on their television at home and say, yeah, I need to amp up my prayer life. I need to start building strategies for prayer over my family and the issues in my life. Right. What got you into filmmaking? Well, uh, Stephen and I, when our older brother Shannon grew up, um, enjoying telling stories, enjoying uh, making home videos. Uh, most of the time they were just for a laugh or for a gag. We would do our own stunts and things like that. But the older we got, our father, who was a minister, um, 
we, we developed that love for ministry and we felt um, God uh, changing our heart uh, to want to do things for a uh, ministry purpose. But we never lost the desire for, you know, those little productions we used to do. Mm -hmm. So we had the desire to, to make movies and as we got older and uh, the Lord opened up some doors for us to do that on a very small scale first, we jumped at it. In uh, 2002, uh, both Stephen and I were on staff at Sherwood Baptist Church in Albany, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And I began working on a small budget movie called Flywheel and prayed the budget money in, which is about $20,000. People just gave it with no strings attached. And uh, so we made a, a local low budget movie in the Albany area for the community, not ever thinking it was going to go beyond that. Mm -hmm. And we showed it in one theater off of a DVD player. Mm -hmm. And wow. um, the Lord did something I can't explain. We thought we were going to be there a few days, and we were ended up uh, there six weeks. Went to two more theaters, released it on DVD, and as we sit here today, that first low-budget movie, Flywheel, sold over a million DVDs. And so God did something only He could do. And what we learned is, when we truly seek Him, uh, a God idea is better than just our good idea. <laughs> and so, um, That's great. and so that became a part of our ministry. So we want to get better as filmmakers. We made Facing the Giants, then Fireproof, Courageous, and now War Room. But um, more than that, I think the Lord has called us specifically to use these stories to impart truth in an inspirational, sometimes um, um, a ministry way. Um, that they are, they are parables, yeah. really. And hopefully if, um, if people see the films and are drawn to a closer walk with God, then that's what's the most fulfilling for us. That's great. Very cool.